And as a flag bearer, Raila Odinga insists there is still enough time for the IBC to engage a new firm to supply election kits. Raila, who wants a French firm, Saffron and Morpho, replaced by irregularities in the August 8th polls, says at least five firms are ready to lease their kits to the commission. The embassy declaration at the Jacaranda grounds on Sunday saw NASA launch its countrywide campaign against elections by the IEBC as currently constituted. And NASA is keeping up the pressure. But we do not want elections for the sake of it. We need credible elections conducted by men and women of integrity, not by the Chilobas, Chirichirs, Kasaids, and Goliaths of this world. NASA has presented a list of demands to the IEBC, among them appointment of new returning officers, gazettement of polling stations, having a new firm print ballot papers, aside from Al Gurea of Dubai, and a new provider of Kenya Integrated Elections Management Systems, KEMS Kids, other than Safran and Morpho of France. We wrote to the IEBC, giving them our reducible minimum conditions. They have not responded to our letter. Therefore, there is no, no basis for negotiations between us and them. Based on an existing two-year contract, Dubai-based Al Gurea is set to print ballot papers as Safran gets down to reconfiguring the Kiem's kits for the repeat presidential election. But Raila says there is sufficient time to engage a new firm. There are more than five companies which are ready as we are talking provide this system within the next three weeks if they are given the order today. So time is not a constraint in this matter. That is just excuse. The NASA coalition has been pushing for the removal from office of 12 IEBC officials, including CEO Ezra Chiloba, and now says they should face the law over poll irregularities. The lot that conducted the last elections must watch the next ones from their prison cells, not from the IBC offices. NASA and Jubilee are set to meet with the IEBC this week, a meeting that will be crucial in mapping out the way forward amid uncertainty over the repeat presidential poll. Rita Tinina, KTN News.